Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and welcome to today's Forex market review for the 5th of July. Now this week is, is, is quite a tricky week. There was the 4th of July public holiday in the States and then there is also the, the payroll announcement tomorrow. So in general, I'm not in a great trading mood and I'd rather sit this week out and that just reminds me that Forex trading is very much like fishing. You've got to fish where the fish are. And you've got to fish in waters that are conducive to the fish biting. So there are times when you've got to say, oh, I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to go and play golf. And maybe next week there will be better trading conditions. Now, just a reminder here is that we're looking on for oversold environments, then that go overbought and have nice waves underneath a trend line and we essentially are trading the breakout of that trend line. So let's have a look at what the market has to offer. And we'll start with the daily review and uh, I'm going to just go through the charts one by one. Again, there's nothing setting up there. There's no overbought, strong overbought, oversold environment, so nothing there. This was a signal that was identified in the last session, but as I stated, that that crossover was too far from the 50 line and I didn't like it. And in fact, that's what happened. It, it did go over but came back quite strongly. So be careful of crossovers that happen too high up. Now, here was one that really did look good last time. Again, there's nothing setting up this time. Uh, now, here's one that's, that did set up quite nicely last time uh, uh, and... Uh, a, a small trade, it still hasn't really convincingly started trending upwards. So uh, again, too late to trade that one and it doesn't seem to be have much volatility. Now th this one looks pretty promising. Here we have the uh, pound New Zealand. That is a really nice signal. There's no strong divergence up there, but that the fact that the RSI is crossing over so strongly really is a good indication. Now, I would say this is a good trade. This is the setup, oversold, overbought, missing divergence, but that's not too serious, and we have a nice crossover. So watch this one. This is a good trade. Uh, most probably the, one of the best set setups I've seen for a while. Uh, here's another one uh, trying to set up. I think we identified it last time. Uh, it is trying to break out there. Watch this one. This one could break out and go north quite nicely as a result of that divergence that is there. Here's, a, here's another one that I identified last time. It did break out. And let's just have a look at the actual chart. Uh, but nothing much happening. The market is is a little bit unsettled at the moment. That's another reason why I'm not, I'm, I'm not trading uh, it uh, too aggressively at the moment. And uh, these uh, uh, that setup is not uh, conducive to uh, RSI trend line violation trading. Here's one that I really fancied last time. Uh, I thought this was the trade of that. It did break out there. You can see, uh, but push was pushed back up. And now we've got to look at an, at this being the trend line violation. So if that turns around and turns over, then I think this is still a very, it has to fall over at some stage. And we'll just have to watch this one very closely. Uh, here we don't have a, a RSI setup. There we don't. It hasn't gone oversold for quite a long time. Uh, although there could be a long shot here. Let's just have a look. Uh, a long shot, uh, by that I mean this could be it. Very strong divergence. So I guess that is a setup. Uh, over, overbought, oversold, nice divergence, trend line violation about to happen, and uh, you need to watch this one for a potential trade. As I say, the market at the moment is just diddly daddling around, so... Uh, uh, there's no volatility uh, coming out of the market at the moment. Uh, the CAD did break out a, a while ago. Unfortunately, we were too late on that one. But again, let's have a look. Uh, you see the, the movement wasn't really that big. It's, it was oh, 200 pips. And then the uh, pound CAD, again, that's a mistrade. It's, it's over and done. So we're now waiting for a another trade now the year is a possible trade because look at there that's oversold it's gone overboard there are two waves 
So uh, that is a possible trade. Let's just do this nicely. And um, there we are. So it is vaguely a trade. Let's just have a look at the actual. Again, look at this. It's just sideways, uncertain market that we're living in at the moment. But certainly there's a setup to be watched. Possibly trade the, the, the new high on that candle. But certainly that, that could qualify as a setup. So let's have a look at the four hour charts. And again, nothing too exciting happening here. Um, oh, there's one, the euro. Let's just go have a look at that one in a little bit more detail. Um, why I'm saying that that is a possibility because it complies with the rules. It's basically saying um, overbought, oversold, and a trend line violation. So it does apply. I think we're a bit late here, though, because uh, the crossover happened has already happened and look we already too late she cried it's already running away from us there so nothing much there nothing much there although that's that's also very similar to what we've just looked at uh, we've got that that one again too late uh, she cried and I think we, that's a little bit too too late uh, all right here's one setting up uh, very nicely um, and that's the pound CAD. Let's open it up a little bit more. See, see it in a bit more detail. So, so that there's our two mounds setting up oversold, overbought. I uh, I like this one a bit because it does feel like it wants to uh, 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 that the trend is is going that way. So, uh, not a bad trade. This uh, there's a nice support level building up here which will push a price movement quite nicely let's say 100 pips we've got the potential there okay uh nothing here nothing here it hasn't gone overboard uh, too dicey you can draw a trend line over there but a little bit too dicey because that one has gone too close to the over overbought environment it cancels it out of it this one oh this is, this is interesting um let's have a good look at this one um okay so very similar to one of the previous ones we've looked at here we have a um a setup but what i like about this particular one is there's the strong divergence and uh, it has come from a uh, from a dizzy height so let's just See if we can make it look a little bit better. Okay, so here's a potential set uh, sell setting up. It's still got a, a, quite a bit to go, but it will cross more or less at the 50 line. So here's a great uh, pound uh, potential. And what I like about it, a lot of these have also got a sport line that they are fighting. So um, there's some really nice trades setting up there. Um, this one hasn't gone overboard for a while, so can't use it. That one uh, is, they, you see they're consolidating. When they're consolidating, they, they don't go overboard or oversold. They just drift around the middle line. This one, uh, although the setup technically is, is a potential one, it doesn't really look that great. Uh, but let's, let's have a closer look. Um, no, I don't think I, uh, you, you see the, 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 the last few days, the candles have just done nothing. There's just a, uh, level of uncertainty in the market see that that technically is is a setup but uh, again I, uh, that is why I'm just sitting out of the market at the moment not getting getting too involved in the market the the, the, tr the candles are just not um, reacting there's n there isn't a healthy upward and downward movement on the RSIs okay so I hope I've given you some uh, feel for what's happening in the market uh, uh, quite a bit of uncertainty and when there are breakouts they don't really going they're not really going anywhere so uh, as I say uh, uh, as a fisherman I'm just staying away and uh, playing golf and we might look at this uh, in a, a much more serious vein uh, next week in fact. Uh, so from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.